Hello everyone, today we'll be making a quick 3D camera typography. Let's begin. First we need to have our audio and our clip. Make sure you enable motion blur and set it as a 3D layer. Then we're going to add a camera, so right click new camera. Let's go with this custom one. Then right click new null object. Parent the camera to the null like so. Then duplicate the null, control D, and parent the layers like so. These other layers will all be used when putting our text. So once we have this, we also need to know the text that you're going to be using. So for me, I will be using three different text layers. So T to add a new layer, then I'm going to duplicate this to so for the first layer. I'm going to have you got me next to then attached level motion blur set as 3D, then hide these layers. We'll be coming back to the middle too. Let's make the motion first. So for the first thing we need, we need to come and make the in transition. It can be direct in transition or it can be the beginning of your text. So for here I'm thinking of making a zoom towards this space here on the right, on the left side. So I'll be using the position. I said this is 3D. And we'll be using the position, click P, set a keyframe, come over here to your markers, set another keyframe. So at this point, this is where all the changes are going to be made. So let's zoom in. I'm thinking of making a zoom of 900. And let's fix this, see where it works best. Then let's add a rotation, a Z rotation. Click on U to only see the keyframes. And let's make a very small rotation around four. Okay. Now that we have that, let's come to the graph. Right click, select the speed graph. Then select all your keyframes, easy is, and edit the graph like so. Don't make it all the way to the end, or the movement is going to be very fast. But if you're doing the typography for a quick song, then that's what you should do. Okay, that's what we have now good enough for the next motion remember you have to come somewhere either in between or towards the end so let's start from here and we want to move towards the right we're going to pee and rotation and rotation then you and come all the way to the end of this first portion the second portion Add other keyframes. Set your motion. We'll just make some random movements here. I think I should just let him be in the middle, right here. Yeah. Yeah. That should work. Then edit the graph. Yeah. Mm, that motion is really small, but I think I like it. Let's go with the final one. 
P R is the rotation, click on U, same distance, click on both of them. So this is going to be for the last text which is attached. So I'm thinking of having a zoom out. Huge zoom out. Maybe let's go to around negative 700. Then go down. This negative 900. Eh? Not much. A bit further. Okay, that looks good. Take it down. Fix this, fix the rotation. I think I just take it to negative one thousand eight hundred. There. Select both. And edit the graph. No, it's not. Let's see what you have. Now let's place the text. Let's start with you got me. So you got me here. Maybe to be here. Let's see scale and position and rotation. Rotate you here. Scale it down a bit. Place it properly. Around here should be good. Let's see. Let's let's fix this. There, take it down. There. Now what? So two two starts here. Being of having two right here at the center. Position. Maybe move it forward 500. Oh no, it's wrong. Negative 500. 600 negative and 400. Okay. There. Let's see how it looks first. Okay, that's nice. Then attached for then enable this position not a huge one here at the center so we move this to the center and put negative let's try negative 1500 we do 1600 let's go with that and center it Come on. There. Let's see what we have. Mm, okay, it does look nice, but it's too tiny. Negative 2000. Proper zoom. Let's see that. All right, that's good enough. Then to make it look better, let's add some effects. Let's go for a texture flask, flux. Texture flux, here you are. 
Mm, I want this to be white. Then I'll add, we shouldn't be completely white. Then I'll add uh, deep blue. Click on this to remove the black screen. Then I'm thinking of some edge rays. Edge rays. Brightness one point zero five. Okay, it's too little. Point one. Okay, and I'm just. Let me try. Fixing the edge rays first. There. Yeah. So I think this looks good enough. And add a deep blue. Maybe reduce this deep blue, it's too strong. Okay. Then copy and paste this. Control C. To the other layers, control B. Yeah, I want you to be red. Go for a red. Control V. I also want a red here. Sorry. A red here. See how to move. Okay, that looks nice. Then remember, after you're done with the motion of the text, the 3D camera for the text, you also have to make an out transition. So for this, I'm thinking of a zoom. Let's do a zoom again. So position, let's bring it in. Just a minute, let me disable these ones, they're making everything so laggy. Fix that. Can you see how the text looks like Let's think it's good enough. Fix this. Come on. Edit it. I choose you. Let's see what you have. Maybe. I reduce at least it's visible when the flip zooms back in. Then the next thing we do, let's add a stroke to this clip. Right click, close to stroke. With the white, and give the size, and let's add something to the background.
Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I hope this helped you out. If there is anything that wasn't clear, kindly contact me or leave a comment down below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. That being said, I will see you guys in the next video.